Well, it's that time of year, isn't it? Christmas is over, New Year's is on its way, and nobody really knows what to do. Uh, I spend my time either working on the car or looking on YouTube. And a channel that I've only just found is Mini AF. Don't really know what AF stands for, but I can, I can have a guess. Anyway, the chap is building a Mini. Uh, it's a, I think it's a 1967 Mini Cooper. Uh, but he's fitting a Yamaha R1 engine in the front. Uh, but it's rear wheel drive. Don't really know what diff he's running in the back. But the fabrication that he's doing on it is just amazing. Um, and so I found his channel on Christmas morning. And I binge watched it whenever I could. So I am now up to date. Uh, and I think it's brilliant. The fabrication skills and the ingenuity that he's come up with is fantastic. So if you haven't seen Mini AF already, please go and check him out. I'll leave a link in the description below. But for this episode, I don't really have anything to give you. I have actually been really busy on the car, but nothing sort of substantial to make its own video. So um, what I've done, I've just made a bit of a compilation about all the different bits and bobs that I've been doing. So nothing really justifies its own video. However, you never know, in the future, I may, I may use some of that footage so for example, like the fuel tank, uh, and what else, the subframes, there's, there's stuff that deserves its own episode, but at the moment I'm just not ready. So here we go, a bit of a, a montage of what I've been up to lately. Good morning, this is my little job before work. I've been making this foam crankshaft. Now to uh, Paradise Bad Obsession Motorsport, I'm sure foam crankshafts are the future, but we're not quite there yet. So, I've boxed up this one uh, to go off and be cross-drilled and have a bit of a polish as well because it needs it.
So I've come out into the workshop to see what I can do without making too much noise. Can't upset the neighbours. After quite a bit of research, uh, mainly finding this uh, diagram on the internet, this the setup is actually very complicated. Well, it's not complicated. The switch is complicated. again and look what I've got I've got the other door can't have the uh, navigator having all the fun don't get excited I'm just aligning stuff to make sure it fits properly it is exciting though so thank you very much for watching this episode please give us a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe if you think it's worth it so until next time Ta-ta for now.